you look along on the sediment surface, it can look um, pretty static environment, or there's, there's not a lot of features in these estuaries sometimes. But if you look closer, you start seeing all these small mounds and various holes and burrows that are created by these different animals. And they all have important roles to play in terms of making nutrients available for other organisms in these systems. So if we look closely at the sand flat, it's actually a really three-dimensional space. And there's organisms that feed at the surface, and they're accessing food that settles on that sediment surface. You've got organisms that feed at depth. And one of the key ones there are these bamboo worms. And we get hints about where they occur if we just look for these little mounds that these organisms create. So we're interested in how food webs work in these estuaries and exactly what makes them productive. So estuaries are highly productive systems and a lot of that is to do with how biodiverse they are, so how many species there are in these systems, but also the role that they play. And so we're interested in how changes over time and over space can influence productivity in these systems and how it can influence who eats who in these um, complex food webs. Citizen science projects like the Marine Meter Squared can really add value to our science because it helps us cover areas where we can't get to. And by having the citizens go out and actually collect data from a number of estuaries, we can increase the amount of area that we can cover in these types of studies. So just having a record of what occurs where, um, if there's any seasonal change in those organisms, can really help us try and understand the biodiversity in those systems, or just the species richness.